The all-star Hobie Cat duo Haley and Millie have taken time off from their training for the World Championships to show me how it's done. Yeah, good. Looking good. All right, I think I can do that. Oh my word! This could get interesting. Now, Haley, can you teach a total beginner the basics and get them on board in, say, three or four hours? Um, well, we can give it a go. It really depends how much you want to learn or how deep you want to go into it, but yeah. Okay, I want a positive attitude here, Haley. <laughs> we can do this. We can teach you That's in three right. hours. That's <laughs> right. Well, hopefully I can learn it in three hours. All right, should be good. Looking forward to it. What are the first things I need to know about getting on a Hobie? Um, so first thing you want to do is not crash. Don't fall off. Um, you probably want to know the basics about a Hobie. So this is a Hobie 16 and a Hobie 16 is a two person boat. We have the skipper and the crew. Okay. And today you'll probably just be crewing. Just be crewing. I don't think I'm ready to be a skipper yeah. or a captain. <laughs> but all right, let's get, let's get to it. These two are the only all girl team in Australia who competed in state and national competitions. It's safe to say I'm in pretty good hands. All right, girls, Millie, before we do this, how do we actually do this? Um, so you'll be crewing, so you're going to be sitting at the front of the boat, about where I am right now. And you'll be in control of this set, small sail at the front, which is called the jib. Okay. Um, when you're going on the upwind, when you're sailing, you have to pull the jib on tight like this and keep the jib traveller in like so. And then when you're going on the downwind, so when you bear away, you have to let it go and pull this out. Now, okay, so while I'm doing that, what are you doing back here? So I'll be steering with the, just managing the rudders. Um, but what I also need you to concentrate on is when we're going and there's a lot of wind, this hull is going to lift up out of the water. So to stop that from happening, we're going to hook onto the side of the boat. Hence the need for trapeze. Yes. All right. So how do we do this? So you're going to step over the side of the boat. Just let your bum fall and straighten your legs. Okay. So, and then just sit down into it. Okay. There we go. Back foot, front foot. And then just, we're just going to pretty much be, are we going to be close? Yep, shoulder to shoulder. Shoulder to shoulder, all right. So uh, just don't push me in, all right? Ocean, check. Boat, check. Life jacket, check. All right, Millie, how'd I go out there representing you in the crew? <laughs> yeah, you did pretty well. Like, you um, you did everything right. There was just that one foiling of the jib on the downwind, but... Shh, no one saw that. that. Come on! Yeah, no, you, you're awesome otherwise. Ah, stop like, it, thanks. You did it, you're natural. All right, yeah. nice. Now, world champions coming up. Tell us about that. Um, So, yeah, that's in China, and, like, all of the Hobie people just do it together. It's like a big community of, like, 160 boats from around the world, and we'll be competing in the women's um division. Like, senior women's? Yeah, yeah, that's right. It's over any... It's any age over 18, and... and Including us, but yeah, we could have competed in youth. It's just Modesty, decision. right there. Yeah, <laughs> that is impressive. I'm amazed. Now, what comes after the World Championships and you know finishing your 12 career in sailing, teaching yeah. rookie TV presenters how to sail? Well, we're definitely going to keep competing. Like it's just something we love to do, and we love doing it together because we're friends. Well, good luck at World Championships. Thanks, Thanks for teaching me how to sail, sort of. So if Haley and Millie are 16, plus another 16 carry the awesome that makes them the youngest competitors in that division in the world. 